In this tutorial, I will show you how to isolate a person in the picture and make it stand out more than the rest. So this one is my original picture. And if you look at this original picture, uh, you don't really don't have um, oh, like a, an isolated person that really stands out here. Because the sharpness are the same especially for the, these four people here but what if your objective is to make this person here stand out so the the second picture here comparing to this one here okay this person stands out more and if you really analyze it it's it's just because these people here the image is blurry than than this person here so this looks like it's a foreground. Now this third, third and last picture here, um, we changed, we isolated him, and make the rest, uh, make it as a background. So you notice he's sharp and the rest is not sharp. So the concept of this is really easy. You just have to isolate one person mask it and then apply a blur effect so if we analyze this uh, this picture that I just uh, put the effect this actually has two uh, two objects one which is the sharp sharp one and this one is the blurry one and just combine it and it would look like this so same thing with this one here that person is isolated So what I'll do now is I'm just going to delete this one and then we're going to to uh, copy that uh, effect. So I'm going to click on the plus sign in my keyboard to make an exact duplicate without an offset and I'm going to move it to the right side. Now the, the only tool that I've used here is the erase tool and the effect is the Gaussian blur so um, I'm just gonna explain about the eraser tool quickly so this is a vector image and this is an image here it's gonna plus sign the keyboard and move it over here and vector and this one is the bitmap uh, yeah the things that you have to remember before you can erase an object you have to select it first so for example, this one, the vector square, I click on it, which is selected, and then I can go to my erase tool. So the location of the erase tool is in this icon here. And then now, even though it's vector, I can still erase it. There. So once I erase it, I can also break this apart. So breaking this apart, I will go to arrange and break curve apart. Now these are two vector images. Then delete that. Now it also works with photographs or JPEGs or or any image. As long as you select it first and then go to your erase tool. And notice if I go like this, I can erase it. And then like the vector image, I can also break it apart and then separate this too. So that's the that's how the, uh, the eraser tool works. Now before I start erasing uh, the, uh, the image here, parts of the image, what I'll do, I'm going to make a copy. This is very important to make a copy of your image. So I go to my copy or control C and now I know it's in the clipboard okay so now I can click on my erase tool and then I'll start erasing when you activate the eraser tool in the property bar here you can see that you can make the uh, thickness of the brush oh sorry of the eraser smaller and also bigger and this one you can also change the shape instead of circle you can also make it square 
what I'll do I'll make it circle because I want to use circle to be more exact and now what I'm going to do I'm going to isolate this person first so I'm just going to make sure that you click on the image and then I'm going to just isolate or make a silhouette you don't need to be exact because what you will do you're you're just going to blur the background there okay and I'm just going to stop there now since I can break this apart so I'll just go to arrange and break apart and now I can delete this and then I can leave this person there now if you're picky you can still uh, edit this if you want so you click on the image and go back to the eraser tool and do do other adjustments okay so now let's go back here and remember before we started we we put that image into the clipboard so we click on copy right now it's time to paste it so when you click on paste now it goes right to the image and uh, but we want to make sure that it's behind the isolated image that we just created so we'll make sure so we'll make it arrange order to back of page now when you're ready in the back of page now we have two objects here i'm just going to move this one here and the background so it's the concept of blurring the background so that the uh, foreground will stand out so click on the image you know the very the, the image that we 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 have in the clipboard and then go to bitmap and click on blur uh, Gaussian blur so I click on Gaussian blur and now I can see a preview of what's going on to my image here so this is eight pixels you can go for a pixel four and a half so it's really up to you to to decide what is the radius of the blur so right now if I just want to make it obvious I'll make it five see now you can see the changes right now that this one these people are blurry and then now this one is not blurry and he stands out so if I'm happy with that one I click on OK and and there I have it and you notice now that he stands out than the others now that's the same concept with with the other one that I made uh, it's we isolated this first one and then blur the others so we'll just click that quickly and plus on the keyboard move it here and then make sure to make a copy so click on copy or control C so it's in, a, in our clipboard and then you can click on it click on the image that you're going to erase and click on your erase tool so I'm just going to do this quickly here and then I can start isolating or masking him there. you don't need to be exact and if you notice it's really easy to to do it in Corel Draw okay so I'm done that one that's the only thing I need and then I go to arrange and then break break it apart so I'll delete this and delete this and uh, and that's it now I have something in the clipboard which is the original pictures I paste it's over there and I'll make sure it's behind this isolated uh, person I go arrange order to back of page and then now I can make these changes so I can click on that and then make it blur so you go so what I did I get went to bitmap and then blur and then Gaussian blur and uh, we used five that's good click OK so now we can see the difference between these two pictures here who stands out 
and who does not stand out. So while, while I'm here, we can also you can also change the the uh, the saturation of the background. So for example, here I want to make this person stand out at the same time. Make this a different scale. So I click on this background here, and I go to bitmap and. Uh, we can go image adjustment lab here and then we can change the saturation and then say click OK here and you notice it changed now so you can play with those effects but the concept is blurring the background makes one person or one object stand out